people tend to describe your music sort of as pop or maybe even pop with some influences here or there. How do you tend to describe the music that you make? Yeah, I, um, I would definitely say there's like pop elements for sure because I love pop music. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I think like whatever you love kind of bleeds into your art. Um, so, I mean, I love a mixture of all kinds of music. So I think you could probably get a little bit of everything like most music in there, but it definitely leans pop to, because that's a lot of what I've listened to, you know, over the years. So. Well, that's a great segue to my next question, which was who were some of the musical influences you had when you were growing up? Oh gosh. I mean, like, honestly, there were so many, uh, I, I've answered this question a lot and like, um, I, I was more influenced, I would say, by songs than I was mm. um, artists well. themselves. You know what I mean? Like, uh, I would get into certain songs and different things. Um, but of course, like, I had like all kinds of like artists I love. Um, you know, to this day, I mean, there are just so many. Like, I like so many out now. I like so many from the past. I mean, it's there's just so many. Um, like great ones I you know like uh it's hard to narrow down <laughs> like it really is like I it'd probably be like harder it'd probably be easier to say the ones I don't like because there's not many of those. <laughs> <laughs> which I won't which I won't say <laughs> <laughs> we have a uh, great several songs out right now there's lobby there's run there's pathetic um is this a prelude to a full album or an EP by chance um, I mean, sure, that's a good idea. <laughs> um, I, I'm i going to be honest, like, I don't, like, I probably should think about things in more of those terms. I kind of don't. I just, like, uh, if I, I, you know, I was a little tentative to release stuff at first anyway, so I kind of wanted to take it slowly, which is why I've been releasing things like a single or a song at a time. Um, but I have plenty of material ready <laughs> if I wanted to do an album at any point like I kind of that's what I do I'll just pick a song and decide to do it um and I, I pick them from a, mostly a lot of songs I have written or have started of some kind so I'm sure that there'll be an album that is gets squeezed out here at some point here soon <laughs> I love the visualizer for run Tom Cruise centric where did that idea come from <laughs> Well, don't you think of running when you think of Tom Cruise? Well, now, like, yeah, yeah, I mean, kind of like a, <laughs> yeah, or kind of like a joke, <laughs> <laughs> like the Tom Cruise run. Right? I could have, you're right. I could have done that. I could have gone to Fort. That's it. Actually, good. I should do the Forest Gump. That's a great idea. Um, I didn't even you're think welcome. about that. Thank you. That's that's a great idea. I will steal that from you. Uh, no, that's a great idea. I honestly, it just came one day. I was like, oh, you know, it's kind of funny. I always think of Tom Cruise, like. Do you think he'd come and do the music video? No, probably no. <laughs> so I was thinking this this is an alternative. Lobby is so catchy. It's also cinematic as well. Uh, speaking of Tom Cruise, where did the <laughs> idea for Lobby come from? Well, first of all, thank you for saying that. It's cinematic because that's something we said Um in production a lot that was something that was said a lot like oh this has a really and, and it's always something I'm going for a cinematic feel I love film so much that um the combination of music feeling like a ride and sort of like a you know it takes you places I think is a lot of fun so cinematic is a really awesome word so thank you so much for saying that mm -hmm. um and the idea really uh, the song was um from life, you know, like a life experience really. And, um, I had ha actually, I, I had already made the beat, uh, produced the beat and it was just kind of, cause I make a beat or two every day. I'll make one or two. Wow. And, um, so I'm, I, I, you know, so I can, I can, if I ever need to just go in and be like, what kind of feel I can go, I don't even remember half of them. So I'll listen back and be like, Oh, there's, there's one. And it was just a feeling I was having and a memory at that moment. And, um, I went in and found one of my beats that I'd already made, I had already made and it fit it. And um, I, I don't know, it just felt right. <laughs> it felt like the right time to do it. Um, it had, it had been with me for a while. So um, I was excited, excited about it. I think that comes through. That's probably what, what you're feeling. 
Well, certainly I'm sure you're getting a lot of great fan response to all of these songs. What kind of messages are you receiving from people? Are they reaching out to tell you just how much they love your music? Or are they relating to it in some way for you? Oh, Jamie, you're not going to like my answer. Um, <laughs> I, <laughs> I, I already tell you, you're not going to like it. I, so I'm not on social media. Like really, I'm, I mean, I am technically on social media and I, and I get messages and I, I reply to certain things through management, but like for my mental health, it's, um, and for my protection of like the craft itself, like I, I sort of avoid that, which means I miss out on some of that really great feedback as well. You know what I mean? I don't really, I sort of like live in a vacuum to some degree. Mm -hmm. So, um, I am, I am, I can tell obviously by, uh, you know, streams and, and certain, Certain, and certain things in numbers, obviously, that, that there's a lot of listeners. And I am, like, so grateful for that. And I'm so per- super excited about um, possibly meeting those people, you know, um, live at some point. And then continuing to sort of, you know, get my feet wet with... I'm, I'm starting to, like, put post stuff, like, through management. Um, slowly but surely. I'm a little timid in that area. We talked about your songwriting a little bit but what are the ways you tend to write do you need to have that beat that you create and then you craft sort of lyrics around it hmm. um you know it, it depends like honestly like you said it could come that way you're right it could be that way sometimes it plops down like a melody that will just keep running and running and running in my head which may be the hook or it may be part of a verse and then it can kind of that's like the bridge to the song. It leads you there. I mean, um, a lot, you know, most of the things it's from personal experience for me, like it comes mm-hmm. from emotion when I'm doing stuff for myself. If I'm writing from somebody else for somebody else, um, it comes from their emotion or what I'm witnessing or how I can relate to that. So it's generally like just a feeling that turns into songs, which is so weird if you really think about it. <laughs> like we sing our word like we make our words longer and sing them it's like kind of funny how much of a hand do you have then when it comes to the production side of the music that you make a huge hand in it because I I um so a lot of times what I'm doing is um I'll you know write the songs and make them make the tracks like the beat and then um, I have somebody I'll work with, like a really great engineer who will produce with me. And sometimes he writes with me as well um, that can come in, you know, stacks of tracks. A huge fan. Like I, I make a lot of the tracks you're hearing um, a lot. Most of them, like I'll make, um, I can't say all of them, but most of them. And then I'm, I uh, have this awesome uh, producer, writer, um, artist himself his name is brisk I work with him he's a great engineer as well and we'll export those tracks in and then sort of um sometimes build on that sometimes we don't add anything it just kind of depends on the song and what it needs but I'm I'm involved in every piece of it except the only place I'm not in the room with is mastering is really it are there any live performances coming up soon we'll be seeing you do any festivals or anything in the near future I hope so. I, I've been getting a lot of great offers to do stuff, but I'm right now in the middle of some other things I have to finish. So um, I can't, uh, I, I, I need to have time to get like, you know, a band together and, and rehearsed and stuff to get out there. So I, I'm just going to need a couple weeks to do that. So I'm hoping here in the really near future, I'll be doing that kind of stuff when I can get myself together enough to do it. Where are some of your favorite places to perform? I mean, I guess I I wouldn't really care where that would be. Um, I, you know, in the past, I would say just like anytime you have an audience that like you're vibing with um, is always a great time. It doesn't really matter where that is, you know, like if, if they're there and you're there and it's, it's, it's a good time. I, I, I don't really care where. Who would you love to collaborate with on a track in the future? Oh, gosh. Um, uh, you know, there's, again, a lot of people I would love to collaborate with. Um, I, you know, I mean, an uh, artist that I really 
love right now that's I mean I love so many artists gosh that's I I have such a hard time with this answer it's like asking like which kid is your favorite I don't know (laughs) I um I you know there's just many great people I love Doja Cat I think she's really interesting and so artistic I think and she she does a lot of production and writing and she's just a really cool artist I would love to you know work with her I think that'd be really cool I promise I won't ask your favorite songs because it sounded like that was harder. That would be so much harder. <laughs> oh my gosh. I don't even know where to start with that. Goodness. <laughs> what would you like to say then to everyone who are fans and supporters of the music that you make? Well, I mean, obviously, thank you. Like, thank you so much for listening to it. And I hope that, you know, people enjoy it and they get something out of it out of it themselves you know like that's like my goal obviously um and hopefully I will see you out there sometime on the road somewhere out there <laughs>